this is my house. <laughs> so, um, yes, we, this house is always filled with music. We have a studio. We're famous for our parties here. We have all kinds of special instrument players coming, bring their instrument, and we just play in a circle, just jam right in front of this fireplace with all these candles lit, and that's what we do for enjoyment. There's been a resurgence in this kind of harp, um, thanks to the harp center that I was telling you about, and all the new players and all the people doing, uh, having interest in this instrument. This is a very fun instrument. There's harp circles, harp gatherings, where all kinds of beginners will uh, get together and play together all their harps, the simplest of tunes, and um, workshops, you know, teachers going around doing workshops. I've been starting to do that myself lately. For Lisa, time is always defined by music. If not on the road or in the studio, music is still the core of everything she does. There are appearances with her local group, Damsel. Lisa and Molly Pizzuti form the core of Damsel, with Molly lending her gifted vocals and lyrics to Lisa's music. The sound is universal and timeless, colored by the romance of the Renaissance. Long awaited by fans is the music of Lisa Lynn, Lisa's first songbook collection. Lisa published these songs so that people who love listening to her music can experience playing it as well. Music is also at the heart of Lisa's most personal endeavor, Harps for Hearts, a nonprofit organization bringing harps and harpists, patients and caregivers together in an interactive and healing music presentation. As founder and director, Lisa works with organizations such as City of Hope, creating a therapeutic experience for all. Working with new forms of media, Lisa's music is the soundtrack to the world's oceans as seen from space. Currently signed with New Earth Records, Lisa feels her music has a home. Their first release is Maiden's Prayer. Mutually, they share a belief in the spiritual, healing, and meditative effects of music. It's definitely a, a destiny that I felt right when I first started doing it. Destiny not necessarily to be a groovy harp player, but to let the love that I feel for this instrument, the connection that I feel, be contagious and affect other people so they can bring their own music into their life and have people sing their own song with it, make their own music, do their own thing. So aside from all the everything else that has to do with records, it's about turning people on to the same type of joy that I get from this instrument. Everyone who ever has touched or started this instrument has felt something very, very special from it. And that's what I'll keep crusading to do no matter what.